what we knew five years concerning supplementation or fitness in the fitness industries five years ago is nothing what we know now, right? right? You see yourself at a certain point in your company right now. Where do you see yourself in five more years from this point? What's in the horizon for that? You know, as far as, you know, for, forget about me for a second, but as far as the company goes, I just want to be able to, which is one of the reasons that we partner with ShareCare, I want to be able to get the right information, the truth, into everyone's living room. And I want to be able to affect the entire family, not just the customer that comes in. Okay. Um, if you go through my house, if you go through Nicole's house, you go through Jeremy's house, you go through anyone that's been with us, Kim, and you go look at our pantries, and you go look at the way, the, the way that we have, um, we have, we've passed the health message off to them from the time they were in the womb with the prenatal to where they are today. And I don't mean what they've turned out to be. That we've been all fortunate that you know all our kids and, and our families are you know turned out to be pretty good, and, and and they were athletes all their whole lives and still are. Um, and they, but that's what I want to bring to every family. So it, it's it's it that I want to be able. To, how do I get that in every family? Well, we're touching a few through your facilities, right, and all you guys. But that's not enough. I mean, what do we, you know? Fifteen percent of the population comes to a gym. You know, I don't want to have to, you know, drag you into a gym to do that. I want to get that message out to you. So I have to find vehicles in the next five years to be able to get the truth into the message. And how can you do it without saying that you've got to change your entire life and do all this? Because those are only people that will do that are the people I can hook up with you people, people like you. Because you have the power to do that. Very, very few. You cannot save the world that way. We have to find other means of getting people to be able to. I remember when you said in some of the meetings when you came to Seattle that you go, we try to do the preventative care before you get to the hospital. Right. So Correct. what we're trying to do is stop you from getting exactly. to the hospital. So that's those are the people that you're trying to incorporate, families, adults, children, everything in the entire package, right? Correct. So, and that sets it up just right. Um, being able to get you while you're healthy that's our business, is that is to keep you, Before you get keep to this your point. yeah keep the health you were born with, or with the health that you have, and get you healthier, because a lot of our clients aren't that healthy, but they have to be apparently healthy when they come in. No, we can, really can't work with them because we're not in a clinical environment, right? That, sure. that, that's a little bit different. But most those are the people that do need the help. But yeah, so our goal is to get them thinking smart. My goal is for every parent in the world, not just our country, every parent in the world thinking about what they should be doing for their kids rather than letting them just randomly make their own decisions. And, and that, that was one of the big argument I had with our pediatrician, our first one. Oh, don't worry, because you know, don't worry about don't worry about your kids. Don't worry. They'll they'll eat when they're hungry. That's the wrong answer. That's the wrong <laughs> sure they'll eat when they're hungry. They'll eat the wrong stuff when they're hungry. Because yeah. we're not wired to eat the right stuff. We're wired to eat sweet, fat, and salt. Yeah. We're wired to do that. That's the way we evolved as humans. But bottom, so everything's like that. So I'm like, they, they'll eat when they're hungry. They're going to eat as clean as they can. Listen, I, don't, I, was never, I wasn't psyched. You can't have this, you can't have this, you can't have this. But it was about eating as clean as you can eat. And then you can have whatever you want. Well, guess what? When they do that, they don't really want that much of the other bad yeah, stuff. When they're eating, the good stuff's yeah. done. Eat whatever you want. Well, then it's not. And so that growing up that way, if we can get start that and get every kid in the world taking a multivitamin for their entire life, we will lick so many problems. Uh, we will. So many health problems. And I mean from day one, because like, they're taking it in the womb, obviously they're getting it in the womb, certainly. And then from there on out, and then of course they get it after that also. They get it in their, uh, as soon as they uh, stop, whenever they're breastfeeding, they're getting it from mom, because mom's still taking the prenatal, yep. as long as she's lactating. Then after that, they go to a formula, right? And that formula is a multivitamin mineral. Oh, yeah, you know that. That's what it is. It's just loaded with all the vitamins and minerals that you need. That's what that formula is. So they're getting it all that time. You never stop. Because they're not going to accidentally eat right the rest of their life. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, obviously you just keep doing that. And I, I, I can't even imagine how many diseases we could prevent or at least have a much higher potential of being productive much longer. Because yeah. things just won't wear out fast. And that's that a classic example I always like to do, a triage example, you know, is the fact that you know, your vitamins and minerals have a thousand different functions in the body. But the most important one is where that vitamin's going to go if you're not getting enough. And it's like with vitamin K. If you don't get enough vitamin K, it's only going to one function, 
One enzyme system, coagulation, right? The second one, though, is coming come up to the brain, right? And so you're talking about neurons. Well, if you don't get enough, those things begin to wear out. They don't reproduce properly. You know, and then you end up with early, you know, early dementia or something or some sort of cognitive failure later on because it's been, your body's been in a triage. It had to stay alive every day. And that's what it does, like calcium. 1% of the calcium in your entire body is in your blood. 99% is in your bone. The body doesn't care how much is in the bone. It's just there as a reservoir. It's a reservoir to pull from when you don't take enough calcium in every day. So it just pulls it and pulls it. By the time you're 50, 60, bones are weaker, 70, there gone. Now you have osteopenia, then you have osteoporosis. You know, so, I mean, this is, this is what's going to happen because it finally, that's triage. But if you had enough calcium your whole life, your bones would be completely full by the time 25 or 30 when they can no longer get any more full. And you'd never draw enough out to get it over that period of time, especially if you're getting enough calcium daily. But that, and though that's just one example of 42 different nutrients, 45 different nutrients that your body needs, that if you got them every single day, all those parts of your body would be able to be like that. Yeah. And then, of course, you're going to get hit by a truck when you're 42, so it's all yeah, so it don't matter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Game's over anyway. Okay. 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 So, God, I took that hey, fight in all those years for nothing. Good conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.